Good evening. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be hosting this year's Leadership Awards Gala. I am Jenny Hall Jones, the Vice President for the Division of Student Affairs, and your MC for the evening. This program is a 38 year tradition, and 2021 is the first time that many people will be able to join us to honor the 39 students who will receive some awards tonight. Usually we cap attendees at 500 max because that's the Baker Center ballroom capacity, but we're not bound by those limitations tonight. Neither are we bound by family travel, entry fees, worries about what semi-formal dress even means, and other stressors that hold us back from showing up for our student leaders on this tremendous milestone in their college careers. For our awardees, this means more family and friends are able to share this moment with you. This means that we will be able to see faces and hear the voices of our individual awardees, something that time doesn't usually allow us to do. My point is this, there are many things we have felt discouraged about this year, but this program, our outstanding nomination and application turnout, and the students that we will honor tonight have me feeling so connected to each and every one of you that you are here with us and hopeful for the future. So let's dig in. In 1984, a group of impressive students were honored for their outstanding leadership at Ohio University. This recognition became an annual tradition known today as the Student Leadership Awards. Throughout its nearly four decade history, the program has evolved and expanded now highlighting the contributions of more than 30 student leaders across 23 categories. There is remarkable growth that happens in the four short years at Ohio, and this program elevates and honors that individual evolution and community impact. Among the award categories, 11 recognize student leadership within diverse communities specifically. Many of these are named in honor of Ohio trailblazers who carved paths for diversity of identity, race, religion, gender, and heritage to thrive here. Student leaders today are building upon that legacy to continue the work for equity and inclusivity. Students need to see themselves in those leading them, the administration, student organizations, student senate, Diversity representation is important, not only for the insights and talents they bring to those roles, but because of what it means for the new students to see them achieving by example. There are more than 600 student organizations at Ohio University. These groups plan events, build skills, connect over shared identities and beliefs, promote personal well-being to our new students, and advocate for their peers. Through the work of these organizations, students share experiences, build relationships, and find their passions at Ohio. Students need to connect with other students. It's what makes the college experience such a memorable time of life. These student organizations work so hard to make that possible. Not only do they help students build connections, but they also take the time and care to teach and learn from one another. There's so much education that happens outside the classroom and we lean heavily on our student organizations for that work. A common phrase heard around campus is Bobcats take care of Bobcats. Whether through service or allyship, acts of quiet and loud solidarity can be seen and heard in public and private spaces by our students. These leaders demonstrate a commitment to the community and care for the Bobcat family. Many students come to campus with scars and anxiety that have the potential to hold them back. I'm always impressed when I see that energy turn into action, especially when that action is directed toward helping others. Amazing things can happen when you make the choice to adopt the mindset of compassion and service. Tonight, we honor student leaders who have devoted their time, talents, creativity, and passion to making Ohio and the communities impacted by it better. Thank you for adapting and thriving in the face of challenges. Thank you for speaking up and using your voice for good. Thank you for your innovative thinking and planning. Thank you for connecting and supporting one another. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for upholding and promoting Bobcat values. 
Thank you for embracing new people and ideas. Thank you for making this campus experience better for your peers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And go Bobcats. Now that we know a little more about why we're here tonight, I want to introduce my partner in this effort to recognize our students with leadership awards. Gigi Sikubin is the Vice President of Diversity and Inclusion. Our leadership awards committee, comprising staff from both of our divisions, have worked tirelessly to break down technology barriers, communicate with open eyes and respect, and ensure that our selection process is equitable, unbiased, and inclusive of diverse populations. We are grateful that these are the values we both share personally and professionally. Welcome to the stage, Dr. Sakubin. Thank you, Jenny. What a great night to celebrate our Bobcat leaders. As Jenny mentioned, my work is with the Division of Diversity and Inclusion at Ohio University and has been quite the year for all of us. When the pandemic surged last spring, campus was on spring break and we never came back. Some students ended up living the entire academic year in a home where their identity is not supported and still they found energy to persevere with grace and to lift up their peers. Many of our students kept working essential jobs to provide food and other basic needs for those of us who had the privilege of staying at home. Others were isolated from their in-person support systems, and yet they rose up to find new ways to stay connected with our community and welcome new Bobcats. Beginning last June with the death of George Floyd, racial justice conversations, demonstrations, and questions flooded our black students' inboxes. Though often well-intended, this hyper-visibility and public demand for your voices weighed heavily on your shoulders. Again, we saw you pivot. With tired hearts and minds, you pressed forward, lending your critical perspectives to the important dialogue happening in our country and all over the world. With the pandemic came other challenges as well. There has been an alarming rise in prejudice and violence against Asian, Asian American, and Pacific Islander communities across the country. Just recently, a gunman took the lives of eight people in Atlanta, six of whom were Asian women. Across the board, Asian women have been particularly vulnerable as we face the dual burden of racism and sexism. As we grieve injustice, it is truly up to each of us to stand up for what's right, denounce bias and violence whenever we see it, and move forward united in solidarity and care for all. To all our Asian students, know that our Bobcat community sees you, supports you, and will always be your strongest ally. Despite all challenges, the work continues. Undeterred, people across the country are fighting for a better tomorrow. To those brave individuals and to our Bobcats, I want to say the Ohio University stands with you. I stand with you. Thank you for reaching out to each other to offer support and solidarity. Thank you for carrying the heavy mantle of leadership throughout this critical time. Thank you to those allies who have recognized their own shortcomings and worked to be better bystanders and engaged citizens. The world is better because of you and we are lucky to have you at Ohio. I now have the privilege of launching the first section of our awards, which honor diversity leaders and their allies. Tonight, we honor a wide range of students and organizations whose work uplifts diverse gender and sexual identities, race, ethnicity, and veteran status. I'm honored to be part of this celebration and I am proud to share a community with all of you. While serving in Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2005, 23 United States Marines and Navy Corpsmen serving with Ohio's Lima Company made the ultimate sacrifice. The Eyes of Freedom Scholarship was established by the Combat Veterans Club to honor their memory. And the winner is... Hello, my name is Molly Davis and I'm a third year public health student. Today I'm here to talk to you about why Ohio means so much to me. This school has given me absolutely everything I could ask for and more. I've learned so much and I've grown so much in my leadership experiences through my sorority off Omicron Pi, which led me to being on Women's Panhellenic Association, all the way to joining Student Senate and learning how to use my voice as being the LGBTQ commissioner. I'm so thankful for all my experiences through Isaac, through sorority life, through everything that I've been a part of, Bobcathon. I cannot be more thankful and I could list everything because this university has given me so many opportunities to be who I am and grow as a leader. I'm so thankful for what Ohio University has given me and so I've dedicated my time to give back to the university. I will continue to do work through my last year here 
and into grad school, and I'm so very thankful for everything. The Arnold Allyship Student Award was named in honor of Ohio's first LGBT Center Administrative Associate, Becky Arnold, to recognize a student and a student organization that have demonstrated outstanding and active allyship towards improving the lives of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer communities on and off campus. And the winner is... Hi, I'm Wendy Marie Martin, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm honored to be the first recipient of the Arnold Allyship Award, which was created in honor of Ohio University's first LGBT Center Administrative Associate, Becky Arnold. I'm currently a scholar artist, PhD candidate in interdisciplinary arts and theater. I helped to create and produce the Trans Plays of Remembrance Festival at OU last fall. This festival was born when I challenged my undergraduate theater seminar students to identify something in American theater they wanted to change and then to take steps to make that change a reality. Trans BFA playwright Jay Woodward told me they wanted to create more opportunities for trans playwrights and we decided to create a theater festival at Ohio University. Once COVID hit, our festival went digital and we joined up with guest director, Boston-based trans theater artist, Michael Joe Rezes, and a team of trans playwrights, actors, designers, and technicians, including students from Ohio University School of Theater to make the Trans Plays of Remembrance a reality. The LGBT Center Student Heart Award was named in honor of the center's first director, Mickey J. Hart. The award recognizes outstanding community care that improves the lives of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and or queer communities that reside on and off campus. And the winners are... I make Ohio strong through my relationships with other people. I like to think that I work on the micro level rather than macro because through individual relationships and how those coexist with everyone else, change can ripple upwards and outwards starting from somewhere very small. When you're nurturing your individual relationships with other people, you are building a sense of community, you're building a sense of identity, you are exercising empathy. And from there, this is what can lead to the community-based reforms. This can lead to policy changes that people need so badly. When we're taking care of each other one-on-one, -on -one, it is now easier to shift to the bigger picture we know how to translate that. And that's where I come in with making Ohio strong. I start with the small things and it's only up from there. The Stonewall Group Leadership Award recognizes an Ohio student and a student organization that have shown outstanding leadership through involvement in causes, events, and interpersonal advocacy to improve the lives of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer communities in their region. And the winners are... To me, leadership has been um, a bit of a struggle. It's not something that I've associated myself with, especially not in terms of um, any of leadership around queer identities and um, things of that nature. However, I've been doing a lot of work with the LGBT Center and with Student Senate this last year trying to connect people with um, specifically from the Honors Tutorial College to the LGBT Center and also with um, the creation of Pride Week and all of the fun events that we put on this last year. And it's been um, it's helped me to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. It's helped me to uh, know myself better, know my strengths better, and you know put those into action, whether it's in 
um, context to using any of the appreciative inquiry model and the, the CARES framework that the LGBT Center uses that I've been able to um, put into my own work and able to really um, connect myself with in order to not only improve the leadership style that I exhibit, but also in terms of um, connecting to others and making sure that they feel heard and making sure that their needs are being met and that people are able to work together as a cohesive group. Hello everyone, I'm Jean Dockery. I make Ohio strong through my authenticity. It not only allows me to represent my communities, but it also invites other people to be completely themselves. This fosters belonging and support on our campus, and we can't really thrive without each other. It's a, it's a system. We're all interconnected. Saying that, I want to acknowledge the community that supports me. I could not have done this without the LGBT Center. Uh, with Micah, Jan, and all of the student staff members, they were incredibly supportive and helpful for me in this entire process and, honestly, the entire semester. This is an incredible honor to get this award, um, and I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. The Latino Heritage Achievement Awards recognize outstanding students of Latinx descent who are headed into their junior or senior year. These students embrace their roots and exemplify pride and passion for their Latinx culture. And the winners are... As a scientist and an academic, I am constantly reminded of the strength inherent in diversity. An ecosystem is strongest when biodiverse. The strongest economic portfolios are diversified, and a university is strongest when its student body exhibits diversity of identity, culture, and thought. As a student at Ohio, I have been very appreciative of the value placed on diversity and the receptivity to new ideas and systems. As a leader at Ohio, I have been proud to advocate for and implement some of these new ideas. I'm a Margaret Boyd Scholar, one among many incredible women leaders working to see gender equality on campus and beyond. I am the soon-to-be Vice President of the Society of Women Engineers, an awesome organization dedicated to fostering young women into pursuing a career field which sometimes works against them, where I've met more incredible women leaders. And I am proud to be a Latina student here at Ohio University, where I'm able to educate myself about my own culture and the cultures of so many other Latinx students on campus through my participation in the Latino Student Union, where I can bear witness to even more incredible Latinx leaders. Being a leader at Ohio is easy, partially because there are so many opportunities to step up and be one, but also because there's an incredible array of diverse and talented leaders all willing to provide mentorship and advice. I am so thankful to have been recognized today, and I look forward to strengthening Ohio further by providing mentorship and advice to some of the incredible leaders that come after. Thank you. Professor Emerita Dr. Francine Childs built a tremendous legacy at Ohio based on the principles. As a tribute to this champion for African American studies, the Francine Childs Diversity Leadership Award recognizes students of color who are working to advance equality, promote social justice, and have an impressive range of cultural diversity involvement. And the winner is...
The Blackburn Spencer Scholarship and Achievement Awards were established in 1979 in honor of Martha Jane Hunley Blackburn, the first black woman to graduate from Ohio, and Donald A. Spencer, the first chairman of color for the Ohio University Board of Trustees. Recipients have demonstrated a combination of financial need, academic performance, and service to Ohio. And the winners are Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer. I make Ohio special because although I was born and raised in the United States, I fully embrace my Ghanaian roots. Um, I use my platform as the Vice President of the African Student Association undergrad chapter as a way to bridge the gap between Afro-Latinos, African-Americans, and Caribbeans and Africans. I fight as hard as I can to show that although we are different, at the end of the day, we are still the same. And most of all, I use my race and ethnicity as a way to educate people and to diminish any negative preconceptions that may exist. Good evening, everybody. My name is Cedric Granger, and I'm a freshman here at Ohio University uh, from Northeast Columbus. And um, I'm the recipient of the Martha Jane Hunley Blackburn and Donald A. Spencer Achievement Award, which I'm very thankful for the opportunity to have received that. And a couple of ways that I've made Ohio University strong uh, throughout my one year here is that, so I joined the Ohio Men of Excellence Network and the Scripps Diversity Committee, as well as the National Society for Leadership and Success throughout the first semester, as well as the Student Alumni Board, Chi Alpha Chris organization as well as WOUB uh, coming in here in the next semester. Uh, so being able to have these opportunities allowed me to be able to it allowed me to be able to connect with a lot of the people on campus as well as well as being able to take part in these diversity organizations. Plus it gave me the connections to be able to take part in some of the um, anti-racism events going on in the city of Athens. And within those events, I was able to share my experiences as an African-American individual and be able to explain how our allies can be able to help in dealing with racism as well as um, inspiring other people as well through my own work especially during January on Martin Luther King Day when I got to give a speech about Martin Luther King's bravery. Hi, my name is Maya Mead and I'm a sophomore here at Ohio University studying journalism and political science. I make Ohio University strong by leading by example, participating in events all over campus so that I can diversify my experience and taking the things that I learned from those events and organizations and sharing them with my peers and my friends that I've grown close to in my time here at school. I think that it's very important to learn as much as you can so that you can share it with other people and by being knowledgeable you can really influence and impact the lives of others. I make Ohio strong because I invest energy and resources into diversity, equity, and inclusion. Due to my passion for diversity, I sought to create Camp Osteo, which is a free program that is taking 231 federally defined underrepresented minority pre-medical students and helping them achieve their health professions dreams. I also believe in equity and inclusion so I ran for the position of the National Diversity Representative for the American Association of Colleges of Osteopathic Medicine. Thankfully, through this position, I have been able to create legislature policy and, and systems and infrastructure that helps make the medical school journey and even learning thereafter more equitable and inclusive. Through these things, I help to make Ohio strong. The Women's Issues Leadership Award recognizes a student who has shown outstanding leadership and or community involvement on women's and gender issues, or has raised connections about those issues by advancing women and gender issues on campus, in the community, and beyond. And the winner is... Good evening and thank you for being here. My name is Lexi Jones and I'm absolutely honored to be receiving this year's Ohio University Women's Issues Leadership Award. 
First, I would like to thank you all for your continuous love and support, as without it, I would not be who I am or where I am today. I'm standing before you today as the founder of Project Mending Threads, an independent initiative designed to offer survivors of sexual assault on Ohio University's campus a sense of comfort as we provide them with clothing and bedding items free of charge. As a survivor of sexual assault, domestic violence, and stalking on this campus, I not only became cognizant of, but experienced firsthand the needs of survivors within our community. Project Mending Threads played an integral role in my healing process. The outpouring love and support that our community has for one another is truly awe-inspiring. I would like to extend my gratitude to the Survivor Advocacy Program and my peers, the ambassadors to the Survivor Advocacy Program. I would like to thank each of you for always holding space for me. Thank you for believing in me and thank you for your unwavering support. And finally, to survivors everywhere, I believe you. I will walk with you. Thank you. I'm eternally grateful. Congratulations, students, and thank you for bringing all that you are to Ohio. We are with you and value you. It has been my honor to be part of the Leadership Awards Gala this year. I'll now welcome Jenny back to the stage for the next awards section. Thank you, Gigi. I am loving being able to see our students in their element and hearing their stories straight from them. I want to take a minute to talk about a quality that we see in our student leaders every year, but it is one that resonates with me more this year than ever, and that is strength. The Division of Student Affairs mission statement ends with the words, we make Ohio strong. That word means different things to different people, but to me, it means that we sustain this Bobcat community. This is done through small and simple acts, as well as grand gestures. It is a daily commitment to progress, regardless of recognition. To make Ohio strong is to challenge what is, to bring about what could be. It is taking a chance on a new idea and learning from the experience, even if it doesn't work out as planned. Strength is mentoring younger students on the job or in an organization and setting a positive example for them to follow. Strength is showing up for work, for class, for extracurriculars, especially when mental fatigue has set in. This year, I have seen strength from our students like never before. From your apartments, from your parents' basements, quarantine and isolation, you tuned in and showed up for each other and for Ohio. You make Ohio strong because you continue to work through the setbacks and you do it with a bobcat zeal that invigorates those around you to keep working too. This quality will continue to bless your life and the lives of those around you. And now, on to the rest of the awards. The Bobcats we honor next are committed to service and leadership both inside and outside the classroom. They hold down jobs, they volunteer with local and national organizations, they plan and host events, and so much more. They are keeping the involvement calendar full of meaningful activities and initiatives, prepping food in the dining courts, representing the underrepresented, achieving academically, and leading by example. As president of Ohio University from 1975 to 1994, Dr. Charles J. Ping was responsible for significant expansion of international education for Ohio. In honor of his legacy, the Charles J. Ping International Leadership Award recognizes the contributions of rich diversity of thought academic success, and leadership brought to Ohio by our international students. And the winners are... Hello everyone. My name is Majid Zeling, a PhD student in the Department of Mathematics. I came to Athens, Ohio in May of 2014 as a master's student. And since then, I have not limited myself to just schoolwork. I have been involved in many student organizations. I have the absolute pleasure to serve the international community in many positions. In the Muslim Student Association, I served as a programming director for many years and as a vice president too. Also, I have co-organized the first American Turkish Night at Ohio University. In 2019, 
I had the absolute pleasure to be the International Student Union President. And I'm almost certain that all of you know the events that held by the international students, amount of the work the team has to put throughout the year for the events. I worked with an amazing group, an amazing team, and I would like to say for them here, thank you so much for everything you have done. I really appreciate you and this award for you guys. Alumnus Ed Kennedy was an outstanding example of lasting and selfless leadership. The Edwin L. Kennedy Leadership Award for Outstanding Community Service is named in his honor and recognizes both a student and an organization that have demonstrated above and beyond service to the Bobcat family. And the winners are... Hi everyone, my name is Juliana Yates and I'm a chemistry pre-medicine major from Gallipolis, Ohio. And I make Ohio strong by supporting and encouraging others. I've been involved in peer-led team learning, tutoring and mentor programs. And in these opportunities, we have interactive discussions with other students and we really focus on everyone coming to their own understanding of how to approach things. For example, understanding the reasoning behind a chemistry practice problem or figuring out how to condense a bunch of information for a research introduction or um, finding activities that both meet program requirements and meet your interests and challenge you. So these opportunities for me have really emphasized the importance of collaborative leadership and recognizing those experiences and skills and the knowledge that everyone brings with them and how to build on those things to empower others. Hi, I'm Faustina Mensa, the founder and chair of the ISDF. In March 2020, when Ohio University locked down its campuses because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the mission of the task force was to serve as the mouthpiece to advocate for all international students who are experiencing severe economic hardships because of the pandemic. The task force brought together various stakeholders, including Ohio University's leadership and administrators, various student organization leaders at Ohio University, Athens City leadership, various Athens faith-based nonprofit organizations, returned Peace Corps volunteers, and community members. Overall, the task force helped enhance the social engagement between international students at Ohio University and the local community of Athens. As a result of the Task Force Advocacy Initiative, approximately $300,000 was raised, which provided financial, food, and local sports to over 300 international students. Finally, ISDF would like to acknowledge that it took a village for the Task Force to accomplish what it accomplished. As such, we would like to use this opportunity to express our Sincere gratitude to the Ohio University leadership, the Office of Global Affairs and International Studies, OU teaching and non-teaching staff, and student trustees, Athens City leadership, community leaders and members for their generous support and commitment to the advocacy effort of the task force. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Leadership and service take time and energy, which can make having a job even more difficult for college students. The Kerrigan Family Scholarship was created in 2012 to provide support to an eager, engaged student leader with financial need. And the winner is... Hi, I'm Kayla Alls. I'm a senior studying applied nutrition. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for selecting me as a 2021 Ohio University Kerrigan Family Scholarship recipient. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. One of the biggest values that has been instilled in me is to leave the place better than I found it. I believe that my role in every organization that I'm a part of has been impactful and has made Ohio University a little stronger. Being strong means having the ability to withstand great force or pressure. College life is abundant with indescribable pressures. 
from building new relationships to excelling in academia to navigating our lively social scene. In my various leadership positions, I have worked to make Ohio strong by helping students discover their potential, inspiring them to be leaders, and providing chances for them to discuss these pressures with peers. Throughout the years, I have educated students on healthy emotional and physical relationships as a treasurer of Pregnancy Resource Center on campus. In this position, I have had the opportunity to collaborate with other strong women in which we create and distribute educational materials for the community. Our goal is to inspire students to realize their purpose and worth by providing up-to-date evidence-based information. Thank you again for selecting me as a Kerrigan Family Scholarship recipient. Just as I have helped make Ohio strong, Ohio has made me strong as well. I will always be proud to be a Bobcat. Established in 1986, the Outstanding Programming Award honors student organizations for conceiving, planning, and implementing outstanding events and initiatives that engage students in meaningful causes, activities, and late night alternatives for safe socializing. And the winners are. Hi, my name is Shaylin Foster and I'm the president of Ebony Minds. First off, we'd like to thank everyone for this award, this acknowledgement, you know, we do really put a lot of hard work into our programming, so it means a lot that our efforts are noticed. And ultimately, I think we make Ohio strong just because of who we are. You know, we're a newer org, we're a smaller org, but that doesn't change how much we want our meetings to impact the campus, you know we still have those important conversations, those tough conversations, because we know that's what makes OU a better place. So thank you to everyone, and Ebony Minds will continue to make an impact on this campus. So thank you. Joel Rudy was the Dean of Students at Ohio for many years. Along with his wife Marlene, the pair established the Rudy Leadership Award in 1986 to recognize the exceptional leadership contributions, ability, and potential of current Bobcats. And the winner is... Hi. My name is Faith Laughlin and I make Ohio strong by caring for my fellow students and community members. Last summer, I worked with an organization called Rapid Response West Virginia, which worked to improve food access to hungry West Virginians in need. On campus, I serve as Vice Commissioner on LGBTQIA plus affairs of Student Senate, and I am also a part of the Cutler Scholars Program, which has greatly enriched my experience thus far. It is a great honor to receive the Rudy Leadership Award, and I am so excited to continue to make Ohio a better place for everyone. Thank you. The Student Affairs Employee Academic Excellence Award recognizes students who maintain a campus job while also excelling academically. These students work hard in all they do, and they play an important role in the work of the university. And the winners are... Hi, my name is Tyra Chantel Huxley. My pronouns are she and hers. I'm a junior at Ohio University and pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Energy Engineering and a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish. Thank you for honoring me with the Student Affairs Employee Award for Academic Excellence. I'm very excited to be able to say that I'm a leader on campus. I make Ohio strong by creating environments that are safe and inclusive and just making people feel comfortable. Um, as a student employee, I work for the Career and Leadership Development Center. So for them, I give 
workshops to Bobcats about how to prepare themselves for the future, prepare themselves for what comes after college. It's something that I really enjoy doing because it's a lot of interaction, so I get to hear people's stories. Another thing that I do is give mock interviews, and those are always lovely because I get to meet people, sometimes grad students, sometimes even employees that work at Ohio University that are from different backgrounds, different walks of life, just different majors. And it's so great to hear what people are doing and hear how much they care about their work. Um, it just makes me really happy because I'm really passionate about what I do. And I really hope that I can implement energy infrastructure and just make the world better. And it's really cool when I get to hear how other people want to make the world better. Um, another role, leadership role that I have is I'm president of Society of Women Engineers. And in that role, my main goal is to empower women and just let them know that they can do anything that they set their minds to. So that's how I make Ohio strong, just by making people feel safe and empowered and ready for the next step for whatever comes after college. Hi, my name is Jordan Schmidt and I am a current junior at Ohio University. I'm studying journalism, news and information with a minor in sociology and a certificate in diversity studies. I am very excited to accept this leadership award. I enjoy taking initiative within the Ohio University community. My role with Variant Magazine is the current head of public relations. I joined the organization in 2018 as a freshman and work to contribute as a general body member. The year following, I applied for a role on the executive board as our lifestyle editor. After working on the editorial team, I was promoted to a larger role as the head of PR. This allows me to lead our social media team committee. I am a reliable leader who ensures that everyone has their voice heard on my team. And next year, I will be the editor-in-chief of the magazine. I also aim to empower OU students by writing articles on students and student organization accomplishments for Ohio News. By learning about, about what our students are achieving every day and sharing it with the rest of the community, I help make Ohio strong. Hello all, my name is Jacob Levin, and I'm one of the recipients of this year's Student Services Academic Excellence Award. One of the ways that I lead at Ohio and make Ohio strong is through my knowledge and experience that I've gained through working with various advisors. This forms the backbone of my leadership style, knowing the answers or knowing whom to ask for them. People can expect leaders to have the answers, and it can be uncomfortable when you don't have them. Accepting that you don't have all the answers is the first step in building a foundation in leadership. The second step in cultivating strong leadership skills is knowing the right questions and the right people for answers when you don't know them. Thank you all for coming, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. The Division of Student Affairs employs thousands of Ohio students each year. Students recognized with the Student Affairs Employee Excellence in the Workplace Award are seen in offices, kitchens, halls, and other spaces they work to maintain and improve every day while being a leader to their peers. And the winners are... Good evening, Bobcats. Thank you for letting me win this incredible award, the award for leadership in the workplace. I work as an SRA for the Department of Housing and Residence Life and formerly used to work as an RA before I was promoted. Working for housing has provided me with some fantastic opportunities, including creating inclusive environments for all residents, hosting fun and safe during COVID times events for all residents, and just generally promoting as amazing of a living experience for everyone who's lived in the dorms during my time as I could. Of course, I have to thank the amazing pro staff and other staff members that I've worked with in my two years with housing. They have been instrumental to my development as an RA and as an, as an SRA and as a person in general. And of course, I've made great friends along the way. I make Ohio strong by continuing to promote the important values of civility, inclusiveness, conversations, everything that Ohio stands for. 
Thank you for letting me win this award. What an outstanding group of student leaders. I have had the privilege of getting to know many of these students personally, and I'm grateful for their influence on the Bobcat family and on me. Now, I want to welcome our next speaker to the stage. He will share with us a few brief remarks before kicking off the final section of awards tonight. Bobcats, here is your fearless leader, Ohio University President, Dwayne Nellis. Thank you, Jenny. I'm thrilled to be part of tonight's ceremony. This evening, we're celebrating the essential role that student leaders play at Ohio University. This year, the work of our student leaders has been more important than ever. All of us at Ohio University feel a deep connection to this singular institution and to our fellow Bobcats. That connection is a crucial part of what it means to be a Bobcat, and it's true whether we're meeting in person or online. The distance between us does not define our connection. Our bonds are strong because of our shared experiences as Bobcats and our love for Ohio University. Each of us carry a part of Ohio University with us throughout our lives, and we're all forever Ohio. Over this past year, our students showed this unity and cohesiveness as they've adapted to incredible changes. The year was not what any of us originally planned for, and our students faced numerous obstacles. At the same time, though, they continued to learn together, support one another, and create new memories. I'm so proud of how our students adapted to changes and used innovative technologies. These new tools help them learn critical skills and strengthen connections that will help them in their careers and their lives. So as I greet you here today, I want you to know that I wish we were together in person, but I'm grateful to be able to connect with you in this manner, and I'm incredibly proud of each of you and how hard you've worked this year and in what you've accomplished. Our student leaders have been key to all of our successes. I'm grateful for everything that you and your fellow students have done for your programs and for Ohio University. With that in mind, I'd like to now introduce our final group of award winners for this evening. These recipients include undergraduate, masters, and our doctoral students, these awards represent some of the most prestigious honors that Ohio University has to offer. These students have achieved success in academics, extracurricular involvement, and in communities they serve. They have answered the call to lead with grace, confidence, and a service mindset. Each of them will be graduating this spring, and we're very, very proud of them. I'm looking forward to watching them succeed in their next steps and seeing how they continue to serve as leaders throughout their lives. The Outstanding Graduate Student Leader Awards recognize one master's student and one doctoral student who have advanced their leadership beyond the classroom to impact a larger community through their research, work ethic, service, and outstanding achievement. And the winners are Hi, my name is Amal Shamir. I'm a Fulbright Scholar from Iraq. I learned a lot being a leader in GSS uh, from my colleagues, from my um, from my colleagues and, and others, uh, uh, GSS members, uh, that we need to work together to find a solution, to find uh, answers when it comes to these issues like health insurance, uh, increase in stipend, policies. I also want to say that if you want to be a part of a community, part of a change within Ohio University, you need to be part of an organization. As a grad student, um, I always wanted to do more for my grad community, especially international students. And being part of GSS made me at least achieve some of these goals. I also want to advise you that if you want uh, to be a leader, if you want to consider a leader, uh, try to invest in yourself, equip yourself with knowledge and tools and search for answers, search for people, reach out to organization like GSS to help you, uh, to assist you to find uh, the right places where you can find the right answers. Thank you for the award. I'm really honored and really blessed to, 
to be acknowledged and appreciated by my own uh, community in my second home, Ohio University. Thank you very much. My name is Faustina Mensa. I am a third year doctoral student in the Higher Education and Student Affairs Program. I'm also the founder and executive chair of the International Student Tax Force. I want to start with my favorite South African proverb, Ubuntu, which means I am a reflection of who you are. And so when I think of how I have made Ohio strong, I draw from how Ohio has made me strong. Ohio University has allowed me to grow and taught me what it means to be called to lead, which is seeing vulnerability as a strength and stepping forward when it matters most. Thank you to everyone who has contributed to the learner and leader I am today. Family, friends, Ohio University leadership, teaching and non-teaching staff, my peers, and the Athens community. It has been humbling and fulfilling to give back in service and leadership. Nyamin Shawan, that is God bless you in my native language. Thank you. Among the most prestigious awards in the lineup is the Outstanding Senior Leader Award, which honors individuals who are preparing to graduate. These students have exemplified Bobcat values, promoted inclusivity, demonstrated above and beyond service, and revered the mantle of leadership they've held through involvement, academic achievement, and social influence during their collegiate careers. And the winners are. My name is Farah Chidiak. I've made Ohio strong by establishing an inclusive astrology club for students to explore their individuality and utilize astrology as a tool to better understand themselves and others. Astrology Club is a safe space for a community of curious students to be vulnerable and seek advice from one another. I've also made Ohio strong by jumpstarting a campus student ambassador organization for Ohio Crime Victim Justice Center called Giving Victims a Voice. I've empowered students to be part of a cause that amplifies the rights and voices of victims of crime and encourages those who've been victimized to seek justice. Hi, my name is Allison Shryock and I'm double majoring in environmental studies and geography. Throughout my four years of undergrad, I've been heavily involved in different student orgs. Two of the most prominent have been Student Senate, where I was the Environmental Affairs Commissioner in charge, where I'm a small group coordinator. I also have two job positions that have helped me improve my leadership skills, one within the Office of Sustainability and the other within the Ohio Zero Waste Initiative. The biggest piece of advice I would give to any underclassman would be to join a student org that has to do with something you're passionate about. Being a leader at Ohio has allowed me to step out of my comfort zone and take a chance while networking and meeting groups and professors that I wouldn't have met otherwise. Hi, my name is Susie Afdebisade. I'm a senior in the Honors Tutorial College studying Spanish and Biology, and I've been the president of Sigma Delta Pi, the National Collegiate Hispanic Honor Society, for the past two years. As president, I have helped our chapter maintain its honor status, as well as receive several outstanding awards for our activity. Also, as president, I have been given the opportunity to present at a national language conference for our best virtual practices during the pandemic. And so I recommend to all students to join clubs and societies and try your best to become a leader. No matter what, you don't have to be president, you can be whatever, but it's a great way to socialize and also to expand your field so that you're not just focusing on one specialization or one major. It's a really good idea to broaden everything you can. And I wanted to say congratulations to the rest of the recipients and thank you so much for this award. Hello, my name is Taylor Bradshaw, and I make Ohio strong because I continue the legacy of Bobcats helping Bobcats. As an underclassman, I remember feeling lost and overwhelmed with what I want to do in life and how to be successful in my classes. Fortunately, I had some strong leaders and mentors to look up to and get me to the point where I can now say I'm proud of what I've accomplished over the past four years of my career at OU. With the CRA, I was given leadership opportunities to help other students do the same and pay that forward. Where I was once mentored, I was able to mentor other students as well. I wanted to say thank you to the CRA for giving me the opportunity to realize my passion for people development, to the professors who nominated me for this position, and to all my mentors in life who helped me um, achieve this leadership award as well. Thank you and go Bobcats. 
Each year, one of the Outstanding Senior Leader awardees is designated as the John Newton Templeton Outstanding Senior Leader Award. In honor of the first African-American student to graduate from Ohio University in 1828, this distinction recognizes a student who has made significant contributions to the lives of African-American students. And the winner is... Hello everyone, and thank you so much for choosing me as the John Newton Templeton Award recipient. I greatly appreciate it and can't tell you how much this means to me. Over the past year, it's been a very hard time for families, faculty, and students, ranging from the pandemics to the hardships of online, class, and much more. Being a leader on OU's campus has been hard, but it's been meaningful to many people all over. Ranging from the different opportunities and resources available to me on this campus, I've been able to make an impact on many families and lives. Being a co-president of MAPS, being a WellWorks personal trainer, and also being involved in Find Delta Epsilon and the other organizations I am involved in has allowed me to make sure that I leave a difference on this campus as a leader. I hope that the people who come after us continue to make Ohio strong and act as a leader in all endeavors of life. Thank you so much for this award, and I'm truly appreciative of it. I also want to take a few moments tonight to announce one more special honor. It is my great pleasure to share with you the name of the newest student trustee for the Ohio University Board of Trustees. Student trustees play a vital role at Ohio University, and their input is highly valued. And now, the name of our new student trustee is... Sarah Ladipo. Congratulations. I would like to once again congratulate all of tonight's winners and just say how proud I am of each of you. You have left your mark on Ohio University, and we thank you. And please remember that your graduation will not end your connection to Ohio University. You will always be a Bobcat. Thank you, and now I'd like to welcome Jenny Hall-Jones back to the stage. Thank you, Dr. Nellis. That about does it for this year's Leadership Awards Gala. I want to thank everyone who has been a part of this entire process. Our steering committee, the individual awards, chairs, and their selection committees, to all 352 of our applicants and the nearly 500 mentors who nominated them. To the awardees and their friends and their families who are here to support them tonight. And of course, for the tech team behind the scenes here, making this all happen virtually for the first time ever. Thank you for your support and for your trust in the Division of Student Affairs with this program. It is one of the greatest nights of the year for me to celebrate our student leaders, and I thank you for being a part of it. Take care and remember you are forever Ohio.